Hello everyone, this is Virain Bed and welcome back to another tutorial on Facebook marketing. So it was pointed out to me the other day that I have left out a very crucial part of advertising on Facebook and I had moved on to creating Facebook pixel and events and audiences and things like that. But then there's something that I left and I'm going to cover that in this tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an overview of the Facebook ad account, see what are the options available to you as an ad account manager and what are the things you can do. So let's go to manage ads. So when I talk about an overview of the Facebook ad account, I basically mean everything, all the tools that you have in here to plan, to create, manage, measure, report, the assets and settings for your ad account. Let's start with planning. The audience insights and creative hub help you plan your campaigns better. So let's go into audience insights and let's see what we've got. So you can select any audience. Let's say I go with everyone on Facebook and now I can get a better understanding of the people who are using Facebook. Let's say I was to choose Mumbai in India. And I can see what is the age and gender of people using Facebook in Mumbai, their, their lifestyle, relationship statuses, education level, their jobs and things like that. This is an amazing amount of data. Uh, let's select people in the age group up till 25, all people who are interested in marketing. There you go. Now, I get to understand my audience better here. I get to know if what their relationship statuses are. I get to know how many of, what kind of education they have. What are the category of pages they like? Their location, I've narrowed the location down to Mumbai already. So that is the city I'll see the most. Their activity on Facebook. So this is a wealth of data. Please play around with it and see what you can learn about your audience. Now let's go into Creative Hub. Now Creative Hub is a place for you to create mockups for your ad, uh, get inspired by other examples of ads that were, that were a success story in Facebook, check the amount of text in your image like I've already told you that you cannot have too much text in your Facebook ad images. So for example, say if you're working in a marketing team where there's a designer and you are the digital marketing manager, you'd need the designer to create mockups using this tool and send the mockups to you and you can directly change them into ads from here without having to, you know, have too many email exchanges without between you guys. You can see examples of ads. There you go. These are some of the success stories and you can check what they did. This is an ad by BMW. There are lots and lots of other inspirations. You'll find inspirations for text ads, image ads, video ads, and basically all the different kinds of ads that Facebook allows you to manage. You can create mock-ups tool. Let's say I wanted to create an, a mock-up for an image ad. There you go. I can create the mock-up. I can send it to my mobile. And I can save it. I can share it once I've saved it. And this is a really amazing tool if you're working in teams. There you go. These, these are the tools with which Facebook helps you plan your ads. Now let's check out create and manage. We're already in ads manager. And uh, so ad manager basically helps you structure your campaigns. As you know, every campaign for every campaign, you have to select a campaign objective, like say, traffic under traffic you will find all the different ad sets you've created to gain traffic every ad set has a different audience different placement different budgeting and different schedule and under every ad set you can have multiple ads targeting the same um, the same audience but it could be different links different text different images and you can play around with that um, 
Also, for each of the campaigns, you can see the results, reach, cost. You can search, filter by time, um, and you can export all of this. So that's your ads manager. If we go into power editor, so this is the power editor. Although it looks a little complicated when you see it for the first time, but it's really very very easy to use, and it's a very powerful tool. You can see all your campaigns that you've created here. You can make changes to all your campaigns, the ad sets inside the campaigns, the ads. Uh, you could select any of them and click this edit button, edit it. And once you make changes to it, like even the minute of the changes, like say I change the name, you will see a tab here that says review changes. So make multiple changes and then apply them all at the same time from here. So if I'm trying to copy a lot of different ads, which I've already created and trying to create new ad sets with it, multiple different ad sets with it. Um, so if I'm trying to do anything major, I always use the power editor to make all these changes. Let's check out page posts. Here you'll see three different kinds of posts. The scheduled post, if you have any, I do not have any post scheduled right now. The published posts, that these are the posts that I've already published, their reach, their clicks or actions. You can check out the ad posts and what was their reach, engagement, lifetime, things like that. So that's about page posts. Let's go into app ads helper. Uh, this will only be useful if you actually have an app which is connected. So basically it gives you an overview of how Facebook ads help, has helped you get more conversions on the app. It will also provide you with a set of tools that you can use and give you suggestions as to what you can do with your app to, to gain better audience from Facebook ads and make better conversions. Let's check out automated rules. I have no automated rule right now. Now what this means is you can create rules which is say something like if you were running a campaign and the campaign was running as per cost per mobile app install, you could say that if at any point of time the cost per install is greater than say 100 bucks, in that case, please turn off the campaign or please send me an email. You could change this to anything actually, your daily spent, your results, your maybe cost per result and things like that. So you can create reminders for yourself using this tool. That's about all the tools you have to create and manage your ads. Let's take a break here as this is turning out to be a really long video. There's a part two to this where I'll cover the rest of the ad account and the rest of the tools that you can use to better optimize your ads on Facebook. Thank you.